Okay, got an interesting job today. I'm going to try and locate the location of some of the leaks on the deck. Okay, so we've got heavy water ingress when it rains. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a leaf blower. I'm gonna stick my uh, cow vent thing back on, attach the leaf blower to it, seal up all the other holes I can find, the companionway, etc., and then kind of pressurize the boat and then go around as many different fixings and deck fittings as I can with soapy water. And hopefully the idea is wherever there is a leak, I'll see some bubbling. Um, this isn't my idea. I got it from a book. I think it's by Don Casey. It's kind of a sail book, a uh, sail boat maintenance book. It's very, very good. Um, I will take a picture of that and put a link up at some point. So yeah, gonna get everything ready for that.
folks. Ah, so deeply irritating. Wow, that's a lesson. Test the leaf blower before you leave the house. So I've now taped up all the holes on the boat, except where I was going to blow air in. And now I'm going to have to take all that tape off because it's due to rain tomorrow and I'm not likely to get another chance today to do this work. Bummer! A few moments later. Okay, let's try again. Uh, I took the leaf blower home and found out that if you haven't got the right fittings on it, there's like a safety feature, it means it won't turn on. Oh! So yeah, we're the next day. Luckily it hasn't rained, so all of my masking tape uh, seems to have survived the night. Um, I'm just gonna, there is a hole. That was probably the pressure washer. Better be taping that up then. So I'm gonna hope that this has all survived. Ah. Seems to have. Okay, that's good. Might as well leave that there. Yeah, so I'm gonna get this leaf blower hooked up and we'll give it a go. some power right how the hell am I gonna do this Oh, here goes. Okay, cool. So now we have the boat um, filled with air and yeah, there's a fair bit of pressure there actually. So that's, that's good. Um, I've made up this kind of soapy bubbly mix and the next plan is basically use this towel and put it along, well, as many of the deck fittings as I can, the tow rails, see if there's any obvious bubbling. Help us work out where our various rainwater leaks hopefully are. Man, where do I start?
Well, another video and another failed technique. Um, okay, so this was an odd one because clearly where the deck vent was taped up and there were some gaps between the masking tape, it was quite clear to see bubbling there. Um, and that's kind of what I expected to see from any deck leak. But <laughs> either there are no leaks or this technique is just very difficult to use. Um, I went around all the... Um, all the windows. I went around all the obvious deck fittings other than the stanchions. Um, including some that I know to be leaking. So these these pulpit ones aren't properly screwed down yet. There's there's movement, there's gaps, um, there's no kind of uh, sealant used there. They definitely leak when it rains. Tried this technique, doesn't pick up on it. I might try the leaf blower blowing slightly harder. Maybe it was not enough pressure, but I would have thought, if anything, it was the other way around. If it's got too much pressure, it would almost just blow the bubbles out too fast. Another fitting that I'm almost certain leaks is this wiring fitting here. Um, when it's raining and you're inside the boat, you can literally see the rainwater coming down those white um, wires. Yeah, I tried this technique and unless it's leaking like just behind the wires you can see they've been filled with a load of silicon um, yeah I don't know it wasn't obvious so yeah mixed feelings on that I'll have another go So, okay, that was slightly different. So there's clear holes there where the hinges have come off the anchor locker. Um, and I know those lead into the cabin, so definitely should be leaking, especially when we're just pressurizing it with air. Um, and they, they weren't obvious to that test, right? Because it's almost like there's, there's so much air leaking through that it just blows any bubbles out before they get a chance to form. Maybe I should have brought my kid's bubble mixture and that would have done a better job. Um, I'm using kind of a, a washing up detergent, um, which obviously foams up quite nicely, but didn't seem to have the power to hold the bubbles together. Okay, so obviously that technique didn't work brilliantly for me, but I, I'm thinking it could be one of two things. Either the leaks I've got <laughs> Are too big to be checked using that technique but i don't i don't necessarily think it is that i think maybe using the dish soap was a mistake perhaps it's too or it's not viscous enough i'm not sure but it it didn't often stay where i needed it to stay that said it did work quite well on the area where there was a leak between the masking tape um so i don't really know i'm gonna go home and i'm gonna research whether or not there's a specific bubble mix you should be using for that it's, it's a shame that it didn't show up more stuff because when it rains i reckon there's three or four maybe five points where this boat seems to leak and so i was really hoping for some kind of confirmation on that from the outside and perhaps those leaks on the inside are coming from somewhere else maybe the water is running inside Part of the boat i'm not sure but yeah bit of a shame that wasn't more conclusive but hey it's another classic sailing donkey i guess isn't it all the effort none of the results